So again, I don't want you guys looking at the definition. So I am going to um, I'm going to change my number value back to um, five. All right, and um, the question that was asked of me was, how do you how do you take something that's just this parametric thing in Grasshopper and put it into Rhino, so so that I can show you this without having you guys copy my definition. I'll bring this over like this, okay? So you guys remember the space bar, right? Okay, so there's the space bar. So what you can do with that is you can pick the final thing, which is the circles. That's this thing here. Notice that they lit up, right? And if I select that final thing, which is the circles, and I hit space bar, there's this thing that looks like a fried egg right there. You see that? That's called baking. Okay. So watch. I'm going to click bake. And it disappeared. Where in the heck did it go? There it goes. Sorry. So I selected it and I hit bake, right? And I get this dialog box right here. This is basically telling me what layer do you want to put it on, um, you know, what display do you want it to have, what mode, blah, blah, blah. Just say okay, all right? And once you do that and you come back in here, right, it will have taken the grasshopper ghost and made it real. So, for example, if I turn on... my gumball I can take this and slide it up okay so there is one iteration right so now I can come back to this thing right and then do the same thing I'm just gonna shift the seed find one that I like there's one I like oh that looks cool I like that pattern better than the other one yeah. right okay so then I can take that pattern and bake it again so so I come over here to circle I hit bake right say okay and here is my next pattern Okay, I can do again one more time. Keep going. Just let's say you wanted to create 15 alternatives, right? Here's another one, right? Or maybe this time what I'll do is change the the maximum number value to seven. See what happens there. All right. So I'll shift that thing around. I like that. That looks kind of cool, right? So I'll bake that pattern. One of the functions that this thing has that it allows you to do is it allows you to group stuff. Okay, so let me let me show you that. So I'm right here. Say I click on this, right, and I hit space bar and I go bake. For some reason it doesn't like that. I don't know why. So I'm going to right click on the object and click bake. Okay, same. See the same egg. Hit the bake tool. So one of the options that might be useful to you is the one down here that says group and say yes, please. All right. So now if I click on this and I move it over, whereas before each of these were individual curves, right, um, this one is giving me a grouping of curves. Okay. All right, so that does that answer your question on baking? And I'll, I'll tell you right now, there's a problem because things are coming out duplicated, so I've got to figure out what that is because when I click on an object here, there's a circle there and a group, and I need to know why. I don't know. I'm going to have to analyze the definition to figure it out. Or perhaps you guys can figure that out and tell me. You guys see the problem? 
right? There's circles on top of circles for some reason. I don't know what the problem is, but... No, I did not bake this one twice. I baked this one once. Positive. There's no more objects under there. All right, okay. Stop the video and you guys can proceed from there.